Hello everyone, this video is our development news of M30 because we have designed the KCS firmware for M30 The M30 is 30 channel energy meter Ok, let's look at uh, how the KCS firmware work with the M30 Ok, now you can see uh, this M30 can connect energy meter this is the AC energy meter uh, I have tested for the channel 1 to test the current the current, I use this CT sensor and you can see I use this one to, for testing and also you can see uh, when I test we will use this small CT sensor and uh, this CT sensor and I have connected with the socket because this socket uh, this have connected with the power supply for my computer and this one I have connected with this this one we will test for a different current and this cable I have connected with this uh, voltage detect part uh, this is you can see L1 and N1 so neutral line and the lead line so that uh, it detect uh, this load uh, voltage just detect watch if you have three phase uh, you can see the phase one phase two phase three you can connect with the three different phase uh, voltage and this is for current total set the channel okay let's look at uh, our KCS firmware how it works let's back to my computer and you can see this M30 and now we have designed this KCS firmware as uh, you can see it here we use for the M30 so you can see this have a monitor as uh, a monitor web page that can monitor the different current you can see different current and the voltage I have detected and so this have a uh, first BL0910 uh, chip uh, this is the second uh, chip and this is the third LT energy meter chip, chip so every chip will can detect 10 channel of current and one channel of voltage and 10 channel of power and 10 channel of energy so you can see it's very powerful also can detect the chip temperature and the uh, frequency of the power because I have only connected with the first channel of first uh, IoT chip and you can see the frequency at here is 50 Hz and this is the temperature of the IoT sensor so you can see all 30 channel data on this web page uh, so that will be easy and this you can see that have enabled I have enabled MQTT uh, protocol MQTT1 and MQTT2 what this means I will uh, explain the detail later and you can see the green that means the MQTT is connected uh, connect with MQTT broke or MQTT card server so you can see uh, you can check it here this is set for the network uh, for LAN and for Wi-Fi Wi-Fi you can use for AP mode or STA mode if you connect your loader you can set to station mode STA just uh, import your loader's SSID and the password and if you have the forge version so you can enable the GSM so that the forge module you can connect to to your card server by 4G ok let's look at this generate generate and you can see this time we have designed two MQTT uh, solution uh, this one MQTT1 you can connect to your own card server just use uh, MQTT broke as you can see this is King Kony MQTT card server I have uh, imported the domain name and the part and the King Kony broke username and the password and the King Kony will make the uh, server application uh, in future for the M30 so the second you can see the MQTT2 that is for home assistant because uh, this time we have make an innovation so that you can use auto discover for home assistant that means you not need to write any configuration for home assistant just zero code so you just enable this switch just enable the auto discover uh, that will Home Assistant will auto find your M30 device and uh, every entity can use in Home Assistant and later I will show you how to, uh, how to do with it so you can see the first you can see I have enabled the uh, MQTT1 so, so that 
Uh, this time, the date have uploaded to our cloud server. You can see, I can use this MQTT box, uh, to, uh, the PC client software, and connect to Kinkoni cloud server, and by this uh, username and password, so that you can see, uh, I can subscribe to the M30 MQTT topic. You can see subscriber, and you can see uh, that have feedback. Uh, every channel, current, voltage, and power, and energy, and frequency, and temperature. You can see uh, this C2 uh, and this C1, and also this uh, this C1 and C0. So totally have 30 channel. So that will always update uh, and upload the date to your color server because you need to you can save it and so that you can check the history uh, date in your color server so this is first we can post your energy meter data to your own color server and the second is use a con integration to home assistant so you can see here is the home assistant i have installed our king Kong server 16 raspberry pi controller and you can see at here the setting and the device, uh, if I at here import M30, you can see uh, that have auto discovered the M30. So you can see, you if I click, you can see all date in, uh, in Home Assistant. Uh, for example, if I delete it and the power of M30, and you can see if I Power of M30, uh, no power. And now you can see I can click delete it, M30 delete it. Okay, this is delete it. Now you can see in my home assistant, if I import M30, you can see no date, uh, no this device because I have deleted. And also in home assistant config YAML file, I have not write any code for M30. Now you can see. Uh, if we power on of the M30, let's uh, in Home Assistant. Uh, you uh, before you do power on, you need to set the Home Assistant uh, IP address and the MQTT broke port and MQTT username and MQTT password. Just fill these four items from your Home Assistant. You can see uh, in your device add-on. And mosquito break broke at configuration. And you will see what's your MQTT broke username and password. Uh, you can see uh, just we can compare it. You can see uh, this is the You can see uh, this is broken username and broken password. You can see MQTT and the one two three, and you can set by yourself. Uh, maybe not use MQTT and the one two three. I just for testing. So you can see this is username and the password as seen as this one, and the broke port. Uh, this one one eight eight three because in my mosquito, you can see I have set this. 1883. So this is standard part of MQTT protocol. So you just uh, fill the items according to your home assistant uh, mosquito settings. And now I will ready to power on. You can see we have opened this home assistant and click setting device and at here. And now you can see I'm ready to power on. Okay, this is power on. You can see this is startup. And we can refresh. Okay, you can see this item have this energy meter. And this manufacturing is King Kone, and the module is M30. So you just need to click enter and you will see all data. At here, you can see the voltage and the power and the frequency and the current because this only work my computer, so the current is low. Okay, now you can add this to your home system dashboard. So you can uh, just 
it can add to dashboard. If you have not have a dashboard, uh, you can create, you can see, uh, I can go to setting and go to this dashboard and uh, add a new dashboard uh, for M30, new dashboard and M30. So you can see, I can create, create this one, you can see, now you can see this have M30, okay, now you can just the last step, just go to this device and find your M30 and click this button, add to dashboard and choose the dashboard we have created M30 and click next and click add to dashboard, okay. Now you can see, click M30, so that all data entities you can use in Home Assistant. So let's test it. Uh, this is a Home Assistant, and you can see it here, Mount. We can also see this date. We can let it uh, uh, on the left, because there are some, some delay. Okay, you can see uh, this is current one, current one, and this is current one, Home Assistant. Uh, this is a web page, and also here have the date uh, from the MQTT card server. Uh, you can see, I turn on the power, and now it works as the fan. And you can see, uh, the current will become high, uh, 0.36. Uh, you can see because this has some, some delay and I can let it become hot because you can see that uh, this hot and now you can see the current uh, will be large 3 ampere and also is 3 ampere and let's look at the first channel uh, that will be update. Uh, you can see it here. You can see uh, four point nine, four point nine. Because now it updates. You can see almost because it have uh, increased. Uh, this have uh, five ampere, and also I can let it become hot. You can see uh, this is high level. Now it's it's very hot. So it's very hot. So you can see uh, this about 9 ampere, 9 ampere and the MQTT broke. Also you can see it's 9 ampere because it is auto refresh. So the date uh, you can save it in your cloud server. Okay, if I turn off, you can see turn off. This is off. So this current you can see reduced to 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So this is the KCS firmware for M30. So that you can use Kinkoni uh, card server or your own card server by MQTT, or you can use in Home Assistant without any configuration. So this this is zero code. It's very easy to use. Okay, thanks for watching.